Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about orphaned users and what they are and very briefly on how to fix them. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by creating a login, if I can find my login syntax, there we are. So I'm going to create login OU, standing for orphaned user, with the password of ASDF and I'm going to check expiration and check policy off. Don't ever do that, right? Don't ever have a password this week with check policy off. It's not a good idea. I'm doing this just to make it easy for myself for, for this video. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to give it access to backup install test database, and then I'm going to put it in the data reader. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Good. Now I should be able to log in from this other window over here, and run my query. Good. Perfect. Now let's talk about what orphan users are. Before we do that, let's take a look at another query real quick. Right here. So I'm going to select from syslogins where name equals OU and I'm going to union all with sysusers where name equals OU. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the syslogins table in the master database, which is clearly where the logins are kept, and then sysusers where the where the users get mapped inside of this database. So if I run this, I've got a username and I've got a SID right here. And you notice the SID is the same on both of these. Now the SID is what is important. The uh, the name the login name and the database user name that we have here is just a friendly alias to help us out so that we can easily recognize the the login that we're looking at, right? It's kind of like um, a, a website domain versus an IP address, right? So this name right here is just a friendly alias to help us out. SQL doesn't know anything about that. It doesn't care anything about that. SQL goes by the SID. Now what happens is sometimes these SIDs uh, get out of whack, right? So let's say that you, this is, this is why you get that, that scenario when you restore a database to another server that you have orphaned users, because even if you create a login with the exact same username, it's going to have a different SID. But in the database you restored, it still has the original SID. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So I can drop this login. I'm probably going to have to kill this stuff, though. I'm going to have to kill that other login first. There we are. So let me drag that up here and kill 51. There we go. Now I'm just going to drop that login. Good. Now one thing that you'll notice is when I run this query again that I only get it in backup install tests. So when I create or when I drop a login from SQL, it doesn't remove it from the databases. So it, it keeps that database, it keeps that, that mapping in the database itself. And you can see that here the login has been destroyed, but it still exists in the database and it still has its original SID. Now, if I were to say something like, oh crap, I didn't mean to do that, right? And I go create that login again. There we go. Now, when I run this, Actually, before I do something stupid, let me go ahead and kill this guy. Kill this guy. There we go. Now when I run that query again, I can see that I've got my login back because I've got my master entry, but look, they've got different SIDs. So this is an orphaned user. This user is orphaned. It no longer has, it's no longer tied to a login anymore, right? So what we need to do is we need to sync these SIDs back up. We need to tell SQL, by the way, the, the user in this database actually belongs to this login. And if you look over here, if we go back to our original query and try to connect again, you'll notice we can't connect because I've got the default database set as backup install test, and I can't get into the back, I can't get into that database right now because the SIDs don't match. So you'll definitely not be able to log in if you, if you have this situation. So now let's tell SQL that this guy actually needs to be set to this guy, right? Okay. There are two ways to do that. The easiest way, the one I really like, 
is this right here. This is the new way to do it. Let me get rid of this guy right there. I don't need that. There we go. It is alter user OU with login equals OU. It's that simple. You're just telling SQL that you want to alter this user and you want to set it equal. You want to map it to a login of the same name. Now, it doesn't have to be the same name, right? You could have the login equal Mary and the user in here equal sales, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it's going to do what you tell it to do, but it's the SID that counts. So let's go ahead and run this guy. There we go. And now let's take a look at this query. And you can see that they have the same SID again. And they were actually given the SID of the new login. So it wasn't the login that was changed. It was the database user that got its SID changed. So now if we go to this other window and try to log in again, we can log in and we can run our query. Now there's an old way of doing this and I, I, I don't like this syntax very well to use SP change users login. Um, you pass in the autofix and what we're saying here is I want to take the user OU and if the login doesn't exist already I want to create it with this password. And you can leave this null if this is the login name that you want to create. So if this is, if, if OU is the same as the login, then you can leave the login null. And so autofix, take this user, create the same name login with this password if it doesn't exist. Now, like I said, I like this syntax a lot less because I have to look it up every single time. Um, I haven't had to look this one up in forever. Alter user OU with login equals OU. That's just very simple to remember. Um, there are some differences in how these guys work. Um, I'm going to save that for another video because we're already getting a little bit longer than I wanted to. So uh, I, I'm going to leave it at that. That is uh, how to produce a an orphaned user and a couple simple ways to fix it. I'll go ahead and post this and all the code as well so that you can go through it if you want to. And that's it. Good luck.